any better. And of course, people skills, because out in the corporate world, it's a totally different space. You don't have patients that you're looking at. You have nice, bubbly, young software professionals looking at you and asking you questions. And of course, they always have uh, the knowledge of nutrition from uh, the internet. So they are, that is a big challenge, but I'll, I'll, I'll talk about challenges later. So people skills is essential. Decision making, of course, in diff difficult situations. Body language and grooming, this is not taught to us in any college. I don't know if uh, Dr. Vijayalakshmi was saying that you do uh, speak about uh, you know, self-development and things like that in academics now. So things have changed a lot in the last 40 years. At least when I studied, nobody taught us about grooming and body language. But that is something that we need to know and we need to develop. Uh, it's, it's really important on how uh, it, it's all a part of people's skills also because your body and actions speak louder than words. So how you behave, the way you sit, the way you stand, the way you speak, the eye contact, everything is important when you're uh, consulting or counseling a person. And grooming, if you're well dressed and well groomed, it doesn't have to be uh, a western dress or an Indian dress, whatever you're comfortable in. It could be a sari, it could be a salwar kameez, it could be a a, 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 a trouser and a jacket or whatever you're comfortable in but just be neat and clean I think grooming and of course you know uh, even the hair in the case because I have had dietitians coming to me for interviews when I started to develop the, uh, the company uh, in torn jeans and apparently that was a style at that time or maybe it still is I don't know uh, so in torn jeans and you know hair all over the place and uh, all kinds of colorful jewelry and she, she walked, and, and, and a t-shirt which said something, I don't even remember what it said, so it said something funny. Um, and uh, she walked in for, the, for, the, in a, for an interview and I said, are you going to go like this to the companies when you consult? She said, what's wrong? So that was the end of the interview. <laughs> so, so grooming, I think, is very important. You can't really go and, uh, you know, uh, you can dress the way you want when you go to a discotheque or when you're partying with friends, but definitely not while working. And definitely wear a smile. It's so important. We cannot sit with, um, you know, uh, stern faces when we are talking to people. We always need to wear a smile, and that itself connects you to the person opposite you very, very easily. And you can, um, I think, you can take it forward much better that way. Of course, I'm not even going into the, the rest of the things: confidence, commitment, etc., etc. That's understood. So I think it's important to be an ally as well as a leader. So when we work in corporate companies, we have to work unitedly with the company <coughs> administration, the catering team, because every company has a cafeteria which serves food to the employees, right? The healthcare team, they have doctors on uh, visits. So we need to be in touch with the, with the doctors as well, because there are some people, even the software professionals, although they are very young, they do have problems like hypertension and um, 